All right, guys, I'm at Sam Adams Tap Room in, what is this actual area? It's like next to Quincy Market in Camille Hall. It's not the original brewery, but it's a really nice tap room. Take a look at some of the insides there. Kind of cool, right? So, I got four beers. I did a flight here. These are all exclusive to the breweries here. So it's not the garbage Sam Adams you're buying at the store. First one we've got is the Negroni. Did I say that right? Negroni? I don't know. It's called Negroni-ish. And it's a, a cocktail inspired brew with, it's a red ale, gentian root, juniper berries, anise, I don't know how to say that. It's not anus. That, that's my butt. It's uh, anus. Yeah, there, there we go. Mint and orange peel. You didn't get this one, did you? Nope. Yeah. Try that. Try that. It's, uh, so it's a red ale. And then all these weird spices just hit you. I don't know how I feel about it. I got it because I knew it would be fun to try, but I didn't actually think I would enjoy it. And I guess that's exactly where I've hit. Spices. Spices. Yeah. Spices, Funky. exactly. The next I got, oh, no. So I'm an idiot. That wasn't the Negroni. Why am I even reviewing? Why am I even pretending I know anything about anything I touch? That was Java the Hut, which explains why it doesn't tastes like anything I read in the description for Negroni ash. Java the Hut was a Belgian ale with hints of pepper and a soothing coffee aroma. The weirdness is from the pepper. That's exactly why I'm like, what? Yeah, that's right. Like, oh, this is the same one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so knowing that, that's a bit better. I still know that I like the pepperiness to it. Not bad, not bad. Now we'll try that Negroni ash. Okay, that's got everything I described. That strong orange peel flavor, pretty good. Not one I'd want to drink regularly, but pretty good. Pretty good. What are your thoughts? Nice, it's uh, sour-ish. I'm here with my buddy, Will, who is, like, you can't turn the camera around in this. Well, he's here, he exists. I think he's got a more refined palate than I do when it comes to beer. I doubt it. I think you do. Uh, <laughs> Dude rode two two hours on the bike yeah. earlier. How many miles is that hit? Uh, I mean, outside it would be about 40. Remember my fetish of being able to just eat and work out? Like that's my dream. This guy, he's living the dream. He just, that's what he does. <laughs> All right, moving on so I can actually shoot the shit with him over these. Oh, come back. Pineapple basil. It's got pineapple basil, uh, habanero, and an ale. I like shit like that. That's <laughs> yeah, strong basil flavor on that. Um, I like it. I like it. The uh, and then our the last great one. Gradsky is good too. If you want. Which one's this? Great Gradsky. It's the ah. smoky. Is that a reference to something other than the Great Gretz Gatsby? Gretzky, maybe. Was, did he play for Boston? No, I don't think so. Did he? I know that he played for the Rangers Gretzky play and the for? Oilers, but I don't think that he played for Boston. Is that what we call the Great Gretzky? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, the Great Gretzky is a specially smoked beer. Oh, it's the kind of ale it is. It's a Gratzer, a smoked wheat ale. A spritzy blonde wheat ale with a delicate smoke aroma and flavor. Ooh, it smells like I walked into a barbecue joint. Nice. Oh, weird but fun. I like it. Really good. I like. This one it. tastes like like gummies. The basil. A little bit, <laughs> right? And last but not least is the House Blend. It's what is it? It's a 2022 exclusive beer here. It's got Space Cadet cold brew beans from their friends at Atomic Roasters. Oh yeah. 
He's not going to like this. He's going to say it tastes like burnt coffee. I've got one too. I love it. I love it. Um, huge coffee flavor. I like it. This is fun. This is a cool place. Ah, I did something. Cool place. I'm liking Boston. I, uh, I can see myself here, right? Like, my kind of city. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.